Hello, and welcome to a game. We've got a Halo game! This time I'm actually starting it early, because I'm not playing. Got so used to playing the testing Halo games and not recording those for obvious reasons. That, uh, last time I started my recording way too late. So now, I'm not doing that. I'm here. I'm in the lobby. We got Team 1, UNSC. Team 2, URF. <laughs> Natasha's being a meme lord. Team 1, Corbeau, Void, Pine, and Pyrope. UNSC, as stated. Team 2, Wheat Bread, Miner Mail, Basil, and Crow on the URF. Which is a slightly modified OSP, for those of you who aren't familiar. And we're on Honeycomb. And we're just Degen Central down here. In, uh... In this place. I have... I have no words. I have no words. Driving down here with the UNSC fleet. I think that's... Yeah, this is part of ship. This is one 450 marathon. I believe... It's hard. These turret, these turrets are uh, proprietary. It's kind of hard to tell. No, Mark. Sixty fives. So it's a two fifty marathon. Interesting choice. I'm surprised after the last game, she didn't opt for some. We don't have any music. Opt for some. Four uh, fifties because I really could use four fifties in this game. Anyways, so Barb's got a 14 marathon anchor with a dual max on it and a couple of Ewar scouts or uh, escorts. Void's got light max, 120s, one VLS2 sidearm on those, which are firing swarms. For those of you who don't know, and uh, by the time this is up, I don't know how anybody doesn't know. In addition to adding the UNSC. And all the lovely, lovely ships that come with that, like the Paris, the Halberd, the Marathon, and the Halcyon, currently. This mod also adds cluster missiles. That's right. Multiple missiles. You fire one missile, and it stages and launches a whole fuckload of sub munitions. Very exciting. Looking forward to see how this goes. Oh, it's also got a uh, scout ship. Good to see. Pine's got house. Yeah, no, this is also a marathon. Pine's got a marathon. I'm still. Not, I'm obviously still not uh, well versed. In telling the difference between these silhouettes, especially since the marathon and the halcyon are shape-wise extremely similar. The the main difference is you can see here on the nose, double Mac. It also has a lot more stuff, and its internals laid out a little differently. Light Mac Halberd with some PD on him. Corbeau's got... Ah, uh, yeah, that's what he's talking about. Wow, only one VLS-2 with missiles in it. They're clusters, baby. Melancholia. I look forward to it. I, look, I cannot wait to see these perform. They're already firing. Oh, boy, here we go. I haven't even gone through the the OSP team. Or uh, URF, rather. So we got Basil here in a container ship. <laughs> In some lovely, lovely colors. I like your, uh, uh, desert camo you got going on here, Chief. I don't know what that's about. Whatever. It's fun. Crow, ooh, rip, repping UNSC tags for uh, the wrong faction. Whoopsie doodle. In a tuck swarm with some S2s, some 250s, some jamming, and a little bit of PD. Tanner's coming in, they're gonna get Chad Fendered pretty easily, yeah. Decoys all over the map. I wanna see where those cluster twos are going. Ah, here we go. Oh, these are just standard twos. These are scout S2s. Those are probably gonna bonk this shuttle. Oh, unless it bastions them? Yeah, it's gonna bastion them. Get bastioned. The enemy is securing zone. Crow, we're at Winter Crow. Minor Mail has Paris and Tugs. Now that's a hell of a build. Max 100s. T20s instead of 
Mark 62 is on the nose, or the throat, I guess? Yeah, the throat of the Paris. Which is a very interesting decision. Some anti-jam, some S2, some jam, and some PD. Very nice. We bred also rockets and Paris's, and these have 120s and defenders on them. Also light max. EWR monitor and a little capping gun shuttle. So for those of you who don't know, there's two kinds of Mac rounds. There's the light Mac and the heavy Mac. Both are extremely long range. The light Macs are good at shooting small ships and dealing a little bit of damage to the bigger ships. Uh, but they're not going to kill a bigger ship uh, really ever. And the heavy Mac can do big damage to the big ships, but they got a huge reload. Like several minutes. I think the current Base reload is like 240 seconds, I want to say. Which is uh, four minutes. Like real life minutes. You can get them down really effectively with a lot of e regs. But yeah, it's a long time. It might actually be longer than that. Something I should know. I, I, I play too many different versions of Nebulous. I, I need to like pare things down and actually memorize all the hard numbers from some of the mods I care more about, like the Halo mod. Alright, we got a big container strike coming in here. I think these are... I think these are gonna get cleaned up, actually. Because I've been getting RPF the whole way in, and yeah, we got the stone walls and defenders. Oh yeah, let's get cleaned up. Nice little... I'll waste some AMMs, though. Nice. Corpus two ships are named Lol. <laughs> Ooh, can't be losing the EWR monitor. It's eating some light Mac fire and a little bit of heavy Mac fire, I think. Oh, well, getting missed by heavy Mac fire. God, it looks good. Some username and Killsmith have done such a good job with the visuals. And the aesthetic and just yeah, everything is a great fucking mod. I love it. A great deal of fun. All right, URF's pushed over the Delta side, so we're doing a little bit of NASCARing here. Oh, S two's coming in. Onk, onk, onk. Rendering this thing. Yeah, it's no longer going to be able to do its job. EWR is down. The enemy is securing zone. So the URF's looping around. God, there's way too many ships on one side of the map, guys. What are y'all doing? That's so risky. They've uh, kind of yielded map presence to do a loop thing here on Delta side, but uh, fortunately, UNSC has done the exact same thing. Just completely abrogated map presence for maintaining the blob and going around the Echo side. Both teams just NASCARing hard. We got a, we got a little yin-yang thing going on here on Honeycomb. Don't see that very often. Usually you see someone going for a cutesy wootsy strike over Charlie or under Bravo Alpha line down under here, even sometimes through the middle, but both teams kind of standing off, playing the game, as it were. Mm -hmm. Staying at long range, being engaged. This is a little loud. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Sorry for just sort of chilling and staring at the ship. Yeah, but there's not a whole lot interesting going on right now is the problem. Both teams are just kind of looping around each other. Uh, oh, cluster missile strike. Going out on this shuttle, struggling to land, unfortunately. Some lands here, but not a lot. Let's uh, dip into the voice call, see what's going on. We need a lot of people in here now. Oh, oh shit, targets, targets, targets. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
We're in the UNSC voice comms, by the way. Basil's in the OSP and is recording from that side, or streaming from that side, I ah, should damn say. It. I lost the line of sight. Wait, I suppose. So if you want to see things from that angle, hit up Basil Meow on um, uh, Twitch and look at our bots. Spotting them for us. It's October 6, 2023. Uh, I, I don't know. Let me there for a rock for my position. Head down. Uh, I do see another line ship. 7613. No, uh... Uh, you got missiles coming up there for the Rosa Summer? Oh, they're spotting oh, another decoy. <laughs> uh, God, I, I see things for a split second and they disappear. I believe we call that insanity. I'm gonna wanna back off, I don't wanna get forfeited. I don't wanna get container in, but we don't want we can all get what we want. Yeah, this container can get stopped by a PD at least. It'll look like you'll kill it though. I'll see. Oh my god, I think she's missing. Oh no. Woo! She oh god. I'm taking that the is... shot. That is embarrassing. Wait. Uh, was somebody shooting me? I don't know what. Yeah, this, this is just never gonna land on oh, these okay, small that, ships. Oh, okay, that's shooting me. Okay. Corbo's oh. throwing away so many points uh, going I'm trying to kill this one shuttle. Uh, up here, up top. I think 7613 is a decoy. Watch your backgrounds basically pass through it without giving hit markers. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Maybe the case. Is that decoy's new thing new with pad faster? Yeah, no, definitely decoy. It just stopped. Oh well, at least I don't gotta worry about it anymore. Me. I'll just try and stand off and stop them from pushing on those. That would be a swarm over there. Oh. There's a tugboat over here. Oh, we need to get A back. Yeah. Oh, Jamulus. Um. Are they playing Jamulus or are we playing Jamulus? I'm not even being jammed, I just kind of got slight on it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have burn through. Uh, I have a I don't have burn through. I have a bullseye. I just need to attract a bullseye first. Yeah, can you some send something to B and A? Because that A is just a shuttle right now. A mostly dead shuttle. Big question, there's no. Gotcha. Uh, oh shit, the swarm's up on radar. <laughs> the swarm is moving. Oh lord, it's moving. Okay. No! What's the bullseye? Jamulus. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. I'll jam me, I'll jam you, we'll jam each other. No, I think I remember that reference. Uh, we just need to uh, get A back if possible. Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna march on to A or C rather. I can't even keep a lock long enough to turn my guns. I get close to myself. Now here it is. Yeah, Here's what happens right. when nobody Probably. has any off scouts. Why uh, win Both teams just sort of blind each other. And I that's need a uh, friendly lock in order to do anything. By the way, uh, I can get you a lock on some of those tugboats coming in, but I'm not sure if decoys or not. Um, yeah, yeah there's these tugboats. I think they may be decoys just because of the way they're moving. I got a. Ah, darn. Are these fucking clusters with decoys in them? What the fuck? A lot of daggers. Oh yeah, my still God. struggling to get lands. They were very oh, real man. and they are they very dead. Look at that. They're all alive. Oh, 
So we got Havises on each side. Very nice. Some good hits, really Let's fucked up. They're not dead, the but... Right. Uh, turn one, uh... Oh, Crow counterfiring from this too. These aren't gonna get through Fire Speedy though. Yeah, I'm getting jammed really hard. Fabulous. Unless she gets jammed uh, really you hard. Oh, okay. No. Some weird nine missiles coming at you. Yeah. The enemy secured zone comet. Couldn't quite get the angle to get through. Ali. Not too much damage done. I have no idea where those are going. Those command guys, or? The famous no Macaron directly to his skull. Maybe A Reds. Do we have any ships able to get on A? Uh, so I'll move the Louisiana like down, but you'll have to kill that shuttle for me. Can we get C? Uh, <laughs> I think you might want to ask the Rosen from the fleet for that. Jesus Christ. Uh, right. Yeah, I can I can go. <laughs> uh, Mac away. Uh, I think I've got a hit there. Now let's hit them with some lights. Oh, by the way, my uh, my ship is still alive oh, on A. I I've just been letting it, them think it's dead the entire time. Oh, you want to move that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we attack this guy to the main fleet. Alright, it's been uh, nice listening to all that, but now we need to do some like, tactical analytics. I know some folks love just listening to the comms, but we do actually need to do things about here and talk about stuff. So, URF has. Both teams have kind of given up their map position, but URF is faster than the UNSC, so they're in a better spot. Because the UNSC is moving in these kind of slowish, tight formations. And they've had to like reorient and head back towards their spawn. They all went all together off the map, practically way over here to this echo point. And now they're all having to come back. And you, you can't be doing that. Like you need you need to use these ships as map presence ships. You need to have just a couple halberds like over here, capping this point. This point's completely open. It's one hundred percent free. Completely free. You take that easy clap. Game gets a lot more friendly. Same thing with Charlie, same thing with all the points. And URF has they've been kind of blobbed up too. They've been just very, very slightly more split up. Crow, in particular, has split the forces up to hit all those points. And also, Wheat Bread had, uh... Grabbed the Bravo and Alpha Point with his crappy little cheapo capping shuttle. And, uh, UNSC wasn't able to deal with that. I think map control is such a big deal. You really can't be doing these like... You need one DPS fleet, but you can't have everybody rocking the DPS fleet. And that's basically what this is. This is a DPS fleet. We have this capital anchor which shoots shit and these escorts. And then this is a DPS fleet. We have this capital anchor and then these escorts that cover its blind spots. This is also DPS fleet, but it's kind of a map control fleet. It'd be more of a map control fleet if it had uh, some S2s that worked effectively against smaller ships. Avoid. <sighs> also has a DPS fleet. Like, no, no one has any map presence. See, Wheat Bread has like two ships worth of scouting and map presence, and Crow likes to split up and be that scouting and map presence. See, Minor Mail and Basil are the DPS fleets. 
But Basil does like half map control with the containers. So it's not the end of the world. And so they've got like... They have very slightly more map control and slightly less greed than the UNSC fleet, and that is worth its weight in gold. The enemy secured zone common. Because at the end of the day, maybe this is a strategy game. And having effective strategy and having control of the map is more useful. And then just having the damage. Despite what the Balkan people will tell you, raw DPS is not in fact everything. Controlling the map is such a big deal. Because that's, uh, that's the cap game, baby. UNSC's back in it a little bit with that Charlie Cat, but they're still 140 points behind. And they're kind of hemorrhaging ships. Mm -hmm. The container is all out. Ooh, a little bit of dodge there. Yikes. Rose of Summer getting belonged pretty hard by the containers. Oh man. <gasps> Colossally expensive container strike coming out here, and it's very effective. Let's dip back into the chat. If someone can get, if someone can like, quickly move in today, I'll try and cover you. The enemy is securing zone. We're continuing. Oh, those are us too. Many of these bastards. Yeah. More gun things, more gun controllers. Yeah, well, whatever it takes to kill a marathon, I suppose. A lot of ironic since the marathon is Yeah, my marathon is a uh, structure broken, by the way. And there goes the feline fire. Boom. Ah, uh, fabulous. Uh, I'll ma I'm making a move for B, but I don't like my odds. I like how this king mod always is turned into missilus. The enemy secured zone common. Yeah. Uh, so funny. Well, to, to be fair, that's like kind of nebulous in general. They don't give you a whole lot of gun mounts. Gotta say. Yeah, maybe we should do UNSC versus UNSC. Uh, I'd rather not, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, it's not like the other team can't win. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, like, uh, and then missiles are a big part of Nebulous. Also, like, OSP especially, or well, URF slash OSP especially, like, they have a lot of missiles as, like, one of their faction traits, basically. Yeah. Yeah. We also don't have any of the missiles that. Plus, the missiles aren't really bothering me. I just need more point defense. Okay. I need more point defense and more illuminators to counter the jamming. Guys, and... I should probably bring up a cabinet or something with nothing but illuminators on it just so I have like some equivalent to the early one in made up. Uh, Alright. Uh... Good luck, Amy. So, uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. I have to use the, the little admiral's room. The little well, pirate you, room. Yeah, oh my god, it's the November 22nd. It has been found. Yeah, they're focused on killing the Louisiana, by the way. It is about to die, but they are spending more of their missiles on it. Their missiles missed. They all missed. All of their missiles missed. <laughs> oh shit, hello!
that you are not getting through my PDA and I don't care what you have to say about it. Alright, we're gonna get back out of that chest. This is slowing down. It's a little bitch fight going on over here. And they basically got shot some, yeah. It's like some missile blast points here and here. A few more back here, yeah. But it's apparently going to Yeah, even the game's pretty much over. Even I see 300 points behind. So, you heard Pyro talk about something in a few minutes ago. About, uh, I need, I need more point defense. I need more illuminators. I need more, more, more stuff. And that's partially true. But... And what's more important is strategic positioning and control because you need to so this one goes out to all the night players out there who want to live you need to get out of that mindset at the end of a nebulous game a good close nebulous game basically everyone on the map is gonna have died then a normal neb game That's how that goes. Pretty much everybody just dies. You'll have a couple small ships left alive at the very end, or some skeletonized capital class cruisers left alive at the very Ooh, getting beaten by a teammate's chaff. That's unfortunate. You don't see that every day. Fucking took a snip of that. I need, I need to throw that in the paint file one second. There we go. It's way too funny. The enemy is and you're gonna die. I mean, you need defenses to a degree, but you can't have so many defenses that you can't fight. It's like a really careful balancing match. And eventually, you need to recognize that you're probably going to get exploded, but you need to do as much as possible before them. And sometimes you just gotta go for it. UNSC played like way, way over careful this game. So how, how they lost is they played extremely careful around the first half of the map, and then they realized, oh shit, we actually have to get out of the map and and do things. Like we have, we have to capture points and control the map. Uh, and then they all split up, and they got nuked into the ground with missiles. So it was uh, too passive, followed by too aggressive. You have to find a balance. If you have that balance going through the bulk of the game, like if they were semi-grouped up and pushing in different places, a couple go to Charlie, a couple go to Bravo, and then send like the dumpy little cap ships off to the... Uh, to the point of like echo that nobody ever goes to. It would have gone a lot better, but uh, unfortunately, 
That's your soul hint. Unfortunately, UNSC just did not really have the map control. They didn't have the scouting, they didn't have the small cap ships going and grabbing points. It's quite unfortunate. angle on the halberds. Halberds have like, okay armor, but it's so steeply angled. Absolutely can bounce, but I think it's this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, nose to nose, 250 HE will bounce off halberd sometimes if it hits on this on one of these two armor plates on the side with this hilariously steep armor. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Shutdown noise from Star Wars? That was definitely a pod racer shutdown noise. The enemy is That's a good bit of detail eclipse. I've never noticed before. <laughs> the enemy is securing zone common. Yeah, there it is. There's a TV around boink. Boink. The oh, enemy man, it's the These little things are great. Little fighters, nose to nose. You hit them in the side, they're just dead. They're dead. They die so fast. But nose to nose, they can put up a fight. Spell amazing. Whatever this is an important thing to get. Zone about the game. Is he really gonna fucking zone come dagger. back? The enemy is so you are us now the concentrated in the middle of the map. Dagger. All the Dead and dying UNSC ships have just spread out and managed to cap all the points. No, they, they can't. Never mind. I see the score. I can't leave B. Leave B, they cap it. Ah. Very sad. 400 points down. Oh well, at least I survived. Yeah, it's uh, not really what you want to be doing with your ship, dude. Hey, it's uh, 1 a.m. in the morning for me. Lovely. You have a good fight. GG. Yeah, GG. I have uh, major battleship? questions about missiles. Because well, the S1s that were part of my uh, cluster missiles didn't actually stage their own submunitions, even though they do in the test range. Good lord. Which is strange I was seeing them 
stage the, some of their cluster missiles? Because the yeah, S1s would pop out, but the S1s okay. didn't pop out there in submunitions. They would just kind of trundle on okay. into the target yeah, doing yeah. nothing. I definitely saw... That's weird, because I, I definitely like... saw like a shitload of cluster munitions come out of your uh, melancholies. Well, they came out of the S2s. Yeah. But those like are supposed a... to be a multi-stage system. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I would like if the uh, if they had like an extra half second of burn time or something. I have so, so. so they can uh, they can stage a little bit earlier, like just outside of PD net range, maybe. Uh, there you go, Basil. You got a new follower. I'm never going to look in notifications for that. Thank you. <laughs> Good game, you everyone. Also, you also yeah, got sure. a new follower for me, Basil. I will yeah. look at notifications and watch your this stream though. Reading, oh, exactly. Right? Yeah. I got I it, Basil. I got nuked. <laughs> you did. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I missed like three good days. Um, halls, but every single time I got shot, it knocked the defender out. <laughs> like, reactor left alone. That defender, <laughs> fuck it. That defender's annoying, by the way, I hate defenders so much. Yeah, <laughs> I had it one point, I was getting missiled, and my PD on that entire side of my ship was just gone. <gasps> they had to slowly turn. <laughs> what the f so I looked in the fleet report, and I looked for the submunition on my fleets that is carried by my S1s. The submunition yep. did not appear anywhere. <laughs> it does not I exist. I load up my fleet file, and the submunitions are there, carried by my fleet. Is, uh... Something is messed up. Are you talking about the oh, yeah. jealousy? Because... Because they're definitely Three, here. Or... The stage out of the rage in the rage block too. Um, because there should be envy, envy block two, jealousy, rage, rage block two, melancholia, pathfinders, and then some AMMs in my fleet. Yeah, those and... are all in the fleet report here. I only but, saw five but, missiles but, in the entry. But, 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 yeah, jealous. Didn't you list five? No, oh. I listed six. Well, the the like missiles that the vehicles that they stage out of is just in parentheses. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go take a nap. See you all later. See ya. Yeah. Hey. Hey. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't show the I vehicle stage. The report. Could could you make sure to save the report? Yeah. And, like, yeah. I'll do that. I'll post it somewhere. Send me a copy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the Halberd has twenty centimeters of armor. We're doing yeah. a, I'm gonna do an outro. Oh right no! Back. All right, so that's pretty chaotic. Um, but yeah, so for those of you who don't know, um, you see the stage here, the final stage. But Corvo is correct; these were not staging. That's why they're unused. And then the uh, the actual missile it stages from, in parentheses. Snip of that. All right, that was a Halo game. It was complete madness, as these off and arm mono matches are just crazy, just because the kind of weirdos that come out for these. You might notice that these are like three quarters, or actually more like eighty percent Coliseum people. Um, and yeah, we're completely unhinged. So, whatever. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the battle space. Good night.